Hey guys, that's Human here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can get face unlock or face recognition on your device for free, no root needed, but you do need Android 2.3 or higher. So let's get to it. Alright, so first time I'm going to be showing you this cool app that lets you do this. It's called Visitin App Lock Plus. And in this video, you will be seeing my face for the very first time, so don't freak. And that's probably like the only time you'll, you'll see my face because I need to show you what this is. And yeah, so let's get to it. Alright, Visitin App Lock Plus is basically an application that lets you get, get face recognition on your Android device for free. And right here, it asked me for my face, so I'm just going to show you guys my face. This is what I look like, um, so let me get face recognition. And right there I got face recognition. And, and once you get into this app, it basically goes into the settings. And right there you can enable it. You can enable it on boot. Um, and you can enable to the external control, so you can ex control the external and the tasker and the local. Right here you can also set um, an alternate unlock. So right here if you tap on that, you can set a password, a pattern, or a pin. I chose a pattern because it's really easy to use. You can also have haptic feedback to have feedback. Um, it's a little trick they added in. You can also add visible pattern. If you don't want people to see your pattern, um, then you can check that off and then it'll be invisible. You can also do a visible bypass button, which is basically, you know, a button that lets you bypass. Right there, face training. When you tap on face training, it wants to detect your face. And once you do that, you can add it or reset it. And you can add more than one face, so you can have another person log in, and it's pretty cool. So the security level, how high you want it, I have it on medium mainly because it's on low. There could be another person that looks similar to you and could log in easily. If it's on maximum, let's say you, cut, you get a haircut or you, your face gets a little um, old or something like that, then it won't let you log in. So that's why I put it on medium. And the liveness detection. I had that on off, but if you want it on, it basically detects if the person is alive. For example, if someone holds up a picture, it won't let them log in. So, because you have to actually blink and exaggerate on the breathing and all that. Um, right there, the resolution of your camera, you can choose that. The lock delay, let's say a person is trying to get in and trying to like go into the password. You could have a lock delay and it locks them out for how many, t how many minutes do you want them to get out. Um, or it automatically turns off the screen. Uh, lock screen beta, that's when you could basically lock the screen, turn it back on, and then it goes into the camera. You have face recognition. So right here, if you go to the apps tab, which is right there, you can basically choose what apps you want it to go in. For example, I have it on basic, on uh, Facebook, FaceNift, Firefox, uh, the browser, my messages, and all that, the settings. And the basic, they basically do default on the Android market, the settings, and uh, all that good stuff. But you can choose what app you want it to have protection on, and it's pretty easy. So the whole point of this app is to basically protect those apps and protect your phone uh, using your face to log in. And it's not that hard to use, it's really easy. The full version costs $1.99, and it basically uh, gives you no ads. Um, it adds in the pattern and pin as an alternate unlocking theme, and you can have haptic feedback. You can also add that experimental lock screen, so when you lock it, and you lock it back up, it basically goes into the camera mode, just like face unlock for 4.0 users. And this works for 2.3 or higher guys, so if you have an Android device that doesn't have ICS yet, you can get this on your device and you can get face unlock for free, or you can get the full version. I'll have a link in the description so you can go download it for free, um, or you can just go buy it from the Android market to get an official update uh, on that. But yeah, pretty cool application. Uh, so the requirements are you need 2.3 or higher, obviously. You also need a front-facing camera, obviously. If you don't have a front-facing camera, then how do you expect it to work? It's for the people who want face unlock and face recognition on the under device. Go ahead and install this app. I'll have a link in the description to go download it. And I'll have a link in the description to directly take you to the app. And yeah. So basically, this is a little tutorial or review, you might say. And uh, I just want to show you this cool app. It's called... Visit in App Lock Plus, as I may have told you before, and it's pretty easy to use. Go check it out. That's all I have to say about this, guys. I, there's not really a lot to say about this application, other than it's awesome and it's pretty cool. 
And if you guys want, please follow us on Twitter. We have a Twitter, twitter.com slash tattooman. We also have a Facebook. Like us on Facebook. We'll have a link in the description for that. And please like this video, rate a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe, guys. We'll have more videos of tutorials and app reviews and a lot of basically top apps of the week. And so please comment. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Kapow!